Hi friends! So since online school started, I've noticed that it's really important to have like the right tools to stay productive and like try to make the best out of this whole online school thing. Um, and that includes Chrome extensions. Before, I never really like paid a lot of attention to Chrome extensions. Uh, but now, since I spend like eight hours on my laptop every single day, Chrome extensions are actually pretty useful. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video on all the websites, well, the three websites that I use to stay organized and productive and, you know, keep my workflow like effective. Yeah, so I posted that video like a few weeks ago. So if you want to check that out, you know, it's kind of, I am guess I'm making like a serious kind of thing, you know, like online school essentials. So if you want to check out all the websites I use, there's a video. But today we're going to talk about all the Chrome extensions I use. So there are like five, I think. Not sure. I don't know how to count. But before we start, I want to thank Taskade for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's start with Forest. Oh, also, um, I'm filming this on my birthday, so that's why there are like balloons right next to me. Um, yeah, anyway, let's start with Forest. You've probably heard of Forest, like the app for your phone, but um, maybe you didn't know that the Chrome extension for Forest is actually free. So it works the same way as the app. Basically, you set a timer and for you know, like you grow your plant and for that amount of time your like the the chrome extension is going to block all like distracting websites um you can tell it like what websites you want it to block i personally mainly block uh youtube because that's the thing that distracts me the, mo the most so you set it up so it blocks the websites you need to block and yeah you set your timer, your girl planned, and if you try to go into the website, your plan is going to die, then you don't want your plan to die. So you end up like not going into those websites. This system doesn't work for everyone, but if you're still trying to figure out how like your brain works and how like what's the best way for you to avoid procrastinating, um, I recommend trying this out if you're still, you know, not sure what works for you. Um, this does work for me. Like I do the same thing for my phone. I don't use Forest on my phone though because I'm not about to buy an app. Um, I use Flora. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna leave the links for all the Chrome extensions in the description box so you guys can check them out. Um, and yeah, now let's talk about my bib. I think that's how I say it. I'm not actually sure. But my bib allows you to basically make citations in different formats. It definitely makes your life easier while you're like making an essay. You have to like cite all your sources and whatever in like MLA format or APA, whatever. And my bib, my bib does that for you. So whenever you go onto a website, you just click on the Chrome extension and it's gonna make like a citation and then you can just copy paste it into your document. I've never had any like trouble with how accurate the citation is. I mainly use MLA and APA, so I don't really know about the other ones. But in my experience, the citations have been really accurate. Yeah, so in my experience, they've always been like good formats and not just like whatever. Um, so yeah, maybe it is great for citations. Now let's talk about Weba Highlighter. Again, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, I, I'm not very good at pronouncing things. But yeah, basically the whole, like, this group extension basically just helps you highlight stuff. And I know it sounds really like basic, but I promise it's worth it. So basically it allows you to highlight websites and documents and it saves that. Like, so let's say you write an essay and you read an article and you want to like save a quote um, to later put in your essay or whatever. So you just highlight the quote. Um, you can change the colors like five, four, five different colors, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, and it's gonna save that thing you highlighted. And if you click on like the Weva highlighter thing and you go to like your home, um, you're gonna see everything you've saved there and you can create different folders in case you wanna like organize it. You have like different assignments and you wanna organize different stuff. But yeah, I've been using this one a lot. Um, especially when I was like taking history, I was using this one a lot because I was writing a lot of essays. Um, so yeah, this one is like one of the best Chrome extensions I've ever downloaded. And now let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Taskade. So Taskade has a nap for your phone and for your computer um, and also a Chrome extension. So in today's video, we're going to focus on the Chrome extension. Definitely go check out the apps if you use your phone a lot or if you prefer to have your life organized in your computer um, i recommend the app but let's talk about the chrome extension taskade allows you to organize your whole life by creating different workspaces lists uh boards pages just anything you need it's in taskade 
it's kind of like notion in the sense that you can use it however you need so i'm going to show you the basics of the app and kind of like the foundation of it and if you like it you can explore all the other features and see you know if it fits your organization system it may be a little bit overwhelming at first because there are so many options but stick with me because i promise it's worth it um so as i said i'm going to show you like the basics so you have a little bit of a better understanding of how it works and it's like not overwhelming also if you're familiar with asana trello and google docs then using Taskit it will be easy peasy <laughs> um, because it's a little bit of a combination of all of these um, so if you're familiar with them Taskit is gonna be perfect for you okay let's start with the different workspaces you can create workspaces to separate uh, for example your school life from your personal life or maybe if you have like a project in your life that also involves other people you can create a workspace just for it and just share that specific workspace with other people while maintain maintaining your other workspaces private now let's talk about simple to-do lists you can create a new page and add lists and checklists um, this option is really simple and self-explanatory um, you just you know you just create a page and there's gonna be your uh, list and you know you can just type and then press enter and then to add subtasks you can just press tab so you don't have to like stop and click on like the three dots and then indent um you can also create templates on taskade um, i've been using this feature to organize all my youtube stuff so i've created a template with all the sections i need like brainstorming with the goals for the video checklists etc and this way um every time i need like i need to make a new video i just create a new page and then click on my new video template um and it improves my workflow a lot and i don't like take so much time planning um i also created a template for a weekly to-do list so basically I, I added different blocks for like the different days and you can like fold each section like each day um so the page is not cluttered all the time um you can have them open all of them if you want oh, also i figured out a way to like change the checklist like little circles into hearts and i think that's the cutest thing ever like instead of just circles you have hearts i like that a lot so I i'm using it like for my weekly to-do list um there are also other options like viewing your pages in different formats like list boards mind map etc as well as adding tags to your pages another cool option is mentioning different pages in a page so for example in my vlog page i mentioned my notion video page and this feature just makes it really easy to move between pages and it makes working um, a little bit smoother and effective um as i said again um taskade does have a bunch of different options the ones i just told you are just the basics and the ones that you like absolutely need to know um but yeah i'm gonna leave the link in the description for the chrome extension and also the app and yeah you can check out the task if you want to make your life a little bit more effective and your workflow a little bit smoother and again thank you to task for sponsoring this video okay so now let's talk about notion web clipper if you use Notion, I hope you've heard of the Notion Web Clipper. It complements Notion so well. Um, so basically, um, it's literally just saving websites. And I know that sounds really basic. Um, but basically what it does is, let's go, let's say that, again, you're writing your essay and you're reading different like articles and stuff. And you want to save an article, um, like you want to save it as your source or whatever. So you can just click on the Notion Web Clipper and select where you want to save it. Um, I usually make databases so you can just like save it in your database and that, that's literally it that's all you have to do and then and then it's saved forever i personally use it more for like my wish list um so whenever i find something something that it, i you know i find cool or that i kind of like it and I, I would like to buy it someday i just click the notion web clipper thing and then i just save it in my wish list i find a lot of like cute things on etsy and you know sometimes i can't buy them all so i just save them and it even had it even like puts the picture there and everything because i put my wish list in it i i have my wish list as a gallery so i can like see all this stuff um and it, puts like the picture of the thing and it, i don't know the notion clipper is just so good i literally use it for everything um i also use it for like my things to check out later um database which is basically things that are not useful now but may be useful in the future like i don't know an article on how to apply for university and stuff like that so i save it for, for later anyway those are the five 
Chrome extensions I use. As I've said in multiple videos, I like to keep my system simple and yeah, really sim simple. Like my organization system is simple, how I organize myself for school is simple, and my Chrome extensions are very little because I only need like the basics and the most I make sure to only have what I need and I want to and I wanted to you know tell you guys all the Chrome extensions I use because I definitely use them a lot so they may be useful for you too. But yeah I hope this video was a little bit um useful. i I'm saying use a lot and useful but you know I hope it was useful and like I don't know you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, don't forget to check out Taskade. I'm gonna leave the link for the Chrome extension and also the app on the description box down below. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Good.